Hey, I'm uh, Gigi Frey, and this is my son, Adam Witt, Hola. and this is April. It is Limb Difference Awareness Month, and I asked Adam to join me on video so I could share his thoughts on what it's like to be a son of somebody with a handicap or a limb difference. I kind of scoured the internet and didn't see that perspective anywhere, and so I thought I'd ask you a couple of questions, okay? Works for me. How has that influenced your perspective on diversity and inclusivity in the world. If I'm being honest, I never, I never really thought of you as having like, like it was never a problem for you having a limb difference. You know, you always kind of like made it work. Whether it be like balancing a cup of coffee on your hand or just you know living normal life, it, it never, it never seemed like it affected you so much. So it didn't affect me that much. And so when I think of diversity and stuff, obviously like, I like to consider myself like a decent guy. The more the merrier in most things. But when it comes to like you and your your limb difference. It was always just kind of like something that I guess was there, but when somebody would ask me about it was when I would realize it was there, if that makes sense. Oh, that's interesting, yeah, yeah. because you grew up with me and that's all you knew. Yeah. When you were little, um, there was this little boy, Michael, in his junior high who was, in, was severely handicapped and in a wheelchair, and Adam would help his mom get him into the wheelchair and wheel him to his class. And a couple of moms would run into me at the grocery store and tell me this, and I it was just always so sweet. I, I think that maybe you don't realize it, but it's added to your empathy. Yeah, you must have ran into the three moms in Northbrook who thought I was nice. <laughs> I was a good, good kid. <laughs> and I'm just wondering if you could share some examples of how resilience and determination have impacted your own personal and professional growth. I think it goes back to what I was saying at the, on the first question which is that I never I never noticed that you had a limb difference like until somebody would maybe like ask me about it or like whether it be like helping you like zip up a coat or like something small like the little thing so I really didn't realize it that much but like for example cooking we both love to cook you're able to do a really uh, to cook not just cook but you dang good job cooking you're a great cook okay. with basically one hand right I mean like obviously you have two hands so, like it's there and you're, you you do certain things like, with your hand and you figured out ways to like make it work but I mean, you have like one sort of like, I don't know how you, how do you say, how do you say? Well, I just say, I just say my left, I say my left hand and yeah. I just say I'm missing fingers. You know, you have one of these and it's pretty insane because like imagine doing anything well and that's like very impressive. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I always say to people when I'm doing my videos, I say, look, if I can do it, you, you can do it and hopefully even better. Mm -hmm. But Thanks, mm -hmm. honey. I just, I wanted your perspective mm -hmm. on this because I don't think we hear enough from children of parents with limb difference and handicaps. So thanks for sharing. I appreciate it. Love you. Love you too.